Hello and welcome to this Root Solutions video. My name is Nigel Whittingham and this video demonstrates how to create a local section view in a drawing that enables internal components to be seen while still displaying most of the external assembly components. So for this example, I am using a very simple assembly consisting of a casting and a component. So initially we need to create a section and to do this we can select manage views, sections, new, we'll create a plane section and we'll simply call it A. If we select this face and drag it in until we just get inside the shell and we'll save that. Okay, that's all we need to do in the assembly. Now we can create our drawing. So let's give it a name. And I'm going to just for this purpose an empty drawing, no, no format or template and select A3 size. So because it's a new drawing, we need to create a general view with the first view. We'll place it in the center. So I will select the front orientation on that. And at the moment, the view display is set to follow environment. I'll leave it on that because it helps for the purpose of this exercise and so what we'll do i'll put it on hidden line for now so we can see the the internal component in hidden detail and now we'll create a section and we'll select the a that we created in the assembly and instead of creating a full section, we can select local. And this will allow us to create a local section. And for that, we need to select the reference point that we're going to sketch a spline around. So we can select anywhere, say on the comp internal component, and sketch a spline. By going all the way around here and applying that and OK. I'll change it back to no hidden display style. And there you have your local area section, which just shows the component through the casing. If for some reason you want to change the spline size or even the reference point, select the view right mouse button properties go back to the section and you can change the reference point if you want or if you just want to change the spline select spline defined and sketch again around making sure the reference point is enclosed and okay that and there you are so although this demonstration is using a simple assembly, you can hopefully see the potential benefits of using this in much more complex assemblies. Any comments or questions on this video, please add them to the comments area. Thank you for watching.